Hi everybody, this is Shane Norman Rowe, and today I'm going to help you get Pegasus VR Media Player working with your locally hosted media files. So this could be anything from your own recordings to things you've downloaded on the internet, other things, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So the idea here is we want to set up a streaming location that we can reach from our Quest back to our PC and not have to do a whole bunch of setup, not run a media server, not run a DLNA server, not run a Plex server, but just using the Samba file share system that's built into Windows and the Quest using the very inexpensive and amazingly powerful Pegasus VR, we are going to make that happen. So the first thing that we have to do here is um, set up a place to hold our files, right? So in here, I've got a handful of files, uh, just some random stuff, TV commercials, some stuff I've got off YouTube, just some various stuff. Now we need to go to computer management and we will set up a streaming user. We want a, a dedicated user for this. So we're gonna go here, we're going to select users, right click, select new user, and we're going to make a user called streamer and we're going to give it the password of capital streamer one dollar sign and we're going to confirm that password and we're going to say that it doesn't uh, have to change the password and never expires etc all right so now that we've got the user we're ready to make a share on our hard drive for this user right here so let's do that Open up Windows Explorer, find the folder that has the content you want to share right there. And we're going to right click it and share with specific people, right? And already it's got your name in there as the owner. Um, but let's go ahead and add our streamer. All right. Add. And you can see he has read access only, which is all we want it to have. It doesn't need to have anything else. So we're going to hit share. Perfect. Now, um, you can see that it's showing the share path is Pegasus PC. That's the name of my computer. And so you're going to need to know the name of your computer as well. So this is pretty straightforward and simple to do. Just type in uh, this PC. Oh, sorry, right click this PC. Sorry about that. We'll go back in here. This PC, right click, hit properties. And you will see your PC's name. I've named this Pegasus PC, but your PC is probably named Desktop Empty Squad or whatever. But Pegasus PC, we're going to need that. We're going to open up Notepad and we're going to save an empty file. And it's going to be the name of our PC.txt, right? So Pegasus PC and TXT. Oh, we can't save it there. Hang on. Let's save it to the desktop. There you go. Pegasus and save. Now, we need to add the username and the password to the first two lines. The username on the top yeah, and the password on the bottom. We're going to save it back. All right. Now, we're going to use SideQuest to copy that file over to our quest. We're going to open up SideQuest. We're going to go to the little Manage Files right there. And then we're going to open up the Pegasus folder. And inside of that folder is an SMB folder. We're going to go in there, right? This is where we need to put that file. All we have to do is drag it right there and plop it in, and it's going to upload. Pretty simple. That's it. We're done. Now, this assumes, of course, that you have, have already run Pegasus once. If you haven't, then that SMB folder won't be there. But now let's go on to the quest and see how it works. All right, here we are. Uh, and uh, I'm inside my quest, and there's Pegasus. Of course, I've already ran it once before I did the tutorial. I figure you probably have to. Pegasus. All right. So we're in the interface now, and we're just going to go right up into Samba, SMB, and you can see all the computers on your network, including Pegasus PC. Hey, there it is. There's the folder, like right there, easy peasy. Let's open it up, and look at that. All of the files that I stuck in there are here. And so... The music playing, a body swaying in time. Rock me gently. Rock me. I always love this commercial. Baby, baby, Yeah, I love that. All right, so um, we'll just play a couple of these just so you can see it, how it works. Hi, my name is Michael. 
and I'd like to show Hi, you Michael. something that just may change the way you experience it. Okay. It's called yeah, the Wii. Whatever. And that was off the Best Buy Wii demo disc. Only on Fox could a video game be more than just entertainment. It could be educational. A new game claims to be able to make brain us age. by exercising All right, enough of that. our brain. Tonight? Exercising our brain. I love it. Here's a, uh, this is an episode of uh, Wife Swap that my best friend was in, him and his wife and his family. I just want to say I'm sorry. That dig does make me appreciate all my other stuff a little bit. With the kids now appreciating what they have, Lisa next enforces her rule they... Yeah. What else we got in here? Oh, the old Nine Fingers demo from the Amiga. Some surf, some footage surfaced about of these girls that were doing the mocap. They're talking like back in 1991 or something crazy when you know there was no mocap. All right, well this is it. I mean that's it. I mean this is all it takes. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks a bunch for watching.